Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you how to install two operating systems on two physical disks connected to a computer or laptop, and we will do it in a simple way without using a bootable Windows USB flash drive. And if your D drive contains important data, I will show you how to install a second operating system on the data drive, and not lose the personal files that are on this drive. You can also use this guide to repeat my steps from the video and install some other operating system, for example, Ubuntu, Windows 11, and so on. Please follow me step by step and you will succeed. First we need to prepare the D drive for installing the second operating system, and now I will show you two different situations. If you do this with a completely new and clean drive, and if your D drive contains important files that you would not like to lose. Okay. If any of you have a brand new second drive and there are no files on it, then open Explorer, then open the This PC window. Right click on the D drive, and format it. But if after connecting the new drive to your computer you don't see it in the this PC window, it means your new drive needs to be initialized. To do this, right click on the start button and select disk management. Now right click on the new disk and select new simple volume. Here you can change the settings, create several partitions, but I will not change anything and click next everywhere. Click Finish, and the creation of the new volume is complete. I'll open Explorer, then open the This PC window, and here we see our new disk for installing the second operating system. If your D drive contains personal files and you don't want to lose them, then you need to create a partition for the second operating system on the second drive. To do this, right-click on the button, Start, and select Disk Management. In this window, you need to right-click on the disk space and select Shrink Volume. By doing this we will compress the data disk and allocate free space for the second operating system, thereby creating another partition on the second disk. In this window, you need to specify how many gigabytes to allocate for the second disk, I will indicate 100,000 megabytes, that is, 100 gigabytes, and this will be enough for the correct operation of any operating system, and my data on disk D will remain unchanged. Depending on the size of your D drive, you may need to allocate more or less space to make it easier for you to use your computer. I click shrink, and the result is that I have another drive with about 100 gigabytes of unallocated space, and now I need to initialize that partition. Right-click on the new disk, and select, New Simple Volume. The new partition is ready, and I click, Finish. Let's open the This PC window, and see what we got. Yes, a new disk E has appeared here, it is on this disk that I will install the second operating system, and if your second physical disk does not have personal files like my disk D, follow my steps and now we need to download the Windows 10 ISO file to the computer from the official Microsoft website. Now we move on to the next step, open the browser and in the search we write, download Windows 10. Or open the video description, and follow the link to the Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft page has opened. Here we can familiarize ourselves with the rules for installing Windows 10. Now we will download a special application to the computer, a tool for downloading Windows ISO, for this we will click, here. The application has been downloaded and our browser can be closed. Ok, let's open the Explorer and open the folder, Downloads. Double-click the icon and the application will launch. Here you must accept the terms of the license, accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here, 
Then in this window you can select any language for Windows 10. I leave English. Next. In the window that opens, we can choose to download the Windows 10 ISO file to our computer. Next. Here you need to specify the location where the Windows ISO will be downloaded, I choose the desktop. Click, save, and the ISO download to your computer has begun. For a while, we don't need to do anything until the file is downloaded. The ISO file download is complete and to start installing Windows 10 on your computer, double click on the ISO file and here we can see all the files needed to install Windows 10. Now we need to open the sources folder, scroll down the list of files and find the installation file, setup. Now double click on this file, and the installation of Windows 10 on your computer will begin immediately. In this window, click, no, thanks because you will be able to get all the updates after the installation of Windows 10 is complete. In this window, click, I don't have a product key, and your new Windows 10 will be activated automatically, in the next window, I will show you what you need to do to transfer your Microsoft license to the new Windows 10. In this window, you need to select the same edition of Windows that is installed on your computer. If you have Windows Home installed, select Windows 10 Home, if you have Windows Pro on your computer, here you need to select Windows 10 Pro, then your Microsoft license will transfer to Windows 10 and the new Windows will be activated automatically. I have Windows 11 Pro on the first disk, so I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. I accept the license terms. Next. To continue the installation, click here. In this window, we need to select the disk where to install the new Windows 10, here we see the C drive of my computer, several small system partitions, and they are all marked with the number 0. I will scroll down a little and here we see my second disk, several partitions, and they are all marked with the number 1. To correctly select the disk for the new Windows, you need to be guided by its size and name, for Windows 10 I created a partition called New Volume, its size is slightly less than 100 GB, and to continue the installation, I click on it, and click, Next. You don't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. Your computer will automatically reboot several times. Please do not turn off your computer. After another reboot of the computer, the menu for selecting the operating system boot opened, in this menu, using your keyboard, you need to select the desired operating system and press, enter. Now, every time you turn on your computer, you will have the choice of which operating system you want to boot this time. Ok. All the Windows 10 files have been loaded, and now we need to do some configuration. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in, or create a new account. To create a local account, you need to click, Offline account. Here you need to click, Limited experience. In this window, you need to create a username. Next. Here you need to enter a password, but I will do it later. Next. The new Windows welcomes us. There is very little left. Yes. I did and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. I hope everything went well for you too. Now I'll open settings. Now I will open the section, Accounts. And here we see that my Windows is running a local account manager, and my account name is Malik. If you need to get a Microsoft account, click, here, and then follow the system's recommendations. Let's open the section, Activation. 
Yes, the new Windows 10 was automatically activated based on my digital license. Okay, now I reboot the computer to enter Windows 11. The menu for selecting operating systems opens, using the keyboard I switch to Windows 11, and press Enter. The Windows 11 desktop loads. I open the This PC window, and here we see the C drive with Windows 11, the storage of my files is the D drive, and also the E drive with Windows 10 and all the files on this drive. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Have a nice day.